Hello, welcome back to the channel. I'm Daruk, and this is episode two of Silent Hill. In the last episode, we uh, were introduced to Harry, who had just survived the car crash with his daughter. Uh, I was looking for her in the beautiful uh, town of Silent Hill. Uh, we ran into a woman, Sybil, I believe was her name, um, a policewoman who was also here, and we've just been looking for our daughter. So apparently... I missed um, a intro cutscene that I skipped. Well, I didn't miss it. I skipped it. That actually kind of detailed some stuff. So I'm going to go back and watch that. And a lot of you guys also said that I should maybe not try to apply the same logic uh, for this game as Silent Hill 2. So I'm going to try to kind of tone it down a little bit with the comparisons or try to kind of read into stuff as much. I think I'm going to just try to take the game maybe not at face value, but like try my best to kind of drop the comparisons or like kind of uh, not so much draw so much from as, as on Hill 2. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to think of the best way to word what I'm saying. But uh, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, so having said that, uh, let's get started. So uh, let's see. Let's see what this uh, cutscene's all about. The fear of blood tends to create fear for the flesh. Okay, so we have a schoolgirl or something. A nice, loving family. This is like giving me Godfather vibes with the music. Okay, maybe not as much now. I am liking this song. Also, okay, nurse. We love nurses here in Silent Hill. And a priestess or something. And then here's that same girl, I think, from the photo, maybe? Mm. CEO man. <laughs> the guy in the suit. Okay, so that's what's driving. I was a little bit confused. Oh, I didn't quite read that, my bad. Okay, another sick person? She looks like a mummy a little bit. I don't know what that... With the wrappings. Oh, it's Sybil. <laughs> okay. Latex pants. <laughs> They're probably leather, but... So she overtook us, so we actually saw each other on the road. Like this slow guy, this slow motherfucker. <laughs> What's that? Oh shit, she crashed her bike. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. So we thought we were running into a girl or something and we r ran ourselves off the road. Okay, that was actually a good trailer. You, it's it's always hard to tell. You know, like, so I mean, not tell. Like, some trailers are just so spoilery. Others are, I like this one because it kind of... It introduced these characters that we're going to see, which I know for some people that might be too much of a spoiler. I don't mind that too much. But um, we don't really know what the plot's going to be. We, we haven't been... Like, it's still confusing. We just know here are the key actors here. Uh, and then introduce some bits on what happened. Very interesting. Okay. Creepy starting sound. So we are... We are back here love this weird slow-mo running animation loading screen. We're back at the school and we're looking for our daughter. So we've got this mysterious younger, like teenager almost, like older than our daughter, but apparently the intro photograph had her and then we saw her a few times in the trailer and it seems like that was the girl we almost hit with the car. So again, I'm not trying to read too much into stuff, obviously, but this is where the theory crafting comes in. It's just gonna happen, right? Um, 
and so very interesting because we're now in a school and I'm going to say I'm not a huge, you know, my experience with the horror. Let me just, I think that ju I just left. Um, my experience with the horror genre is essentially left to this channel. Again, I don't really like horror, so... <laughs> Well, I didn't. Then I've been ex like enjoying it a lot more. So I've never thought of a school as a scary place. Obviously, like hosp abandoned hospitals and stuff, that's a classic. But I never thought of like a school as being like a scary area. Moore, Ronaldo, and Gordon. This must be a list of teachers. So I wonder what we're going to get here. Uh, now I rebound the controls to my analog stick so I can actually play the game in the modern era um, <laughs> it's written in blood 10 o'clock alchemy laboratory <laughs> what a crazy gold in an old man's palm the future hidden in his fist exchange for sage's water okay that's a puzzle hold on we're gonna be coming back here but I'm gonna write this down anyway not the entire thing Golden old, an old palm, future fist, exchange water. I'm assuming there's gonna be some old statue or something, like an old man statue or something with this sage and crap. Okay. More blood, more blood writing. It's written in blood. Five o'clock, darkness that brings the choking heat. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna bother writing all this down. I feel like I'm gonna be coming back here for a second. But flames render the silence, awakening the hungry beast. Open time's door to beckon prey. So there's gonna be a puzzle here with some, we got a really, we got a block schedule here from 10 to five. Um, it's written in blood. 12 o'clock, a place with songs and sound. A silver guidepost is untapped in lost tongues, awakening at the ordained order. Okay, so we gotta go to these three classrooms. We got lab, we got alchemy lab. That's that's what we're learning in the modern era. No chemistry. Uh, we, we've, we've regressed back to alchemy. Um, this doesn't have a classroom. This is just five. Wait, wait, actually, let me, this might be a hint actually. Or these all might be hints. Alchemy laboratory, or I, I don't know why I keep saying laboratory. It's, I say laboratory normally. I don't, I don't know. Um, that's chemistry. Darkness that brings the choking heat. Maybe these are supposed to be hints for classrooms, actually. Because this is a place where that's like a band room, right? Okay. Let's, let's keep exploring, and then we'll start piecing it together. Ooh, I love this. this now, this is just... This is a classic silent like that I'm I'm drawing that comparison cuz this is very similar to the just imagery of the, like stuff that we see in Silent Hill 2 just people that are like in some element of like garment that are just tied a lot of like BDSM or like yeah like bondage kind of imagery a lot of the time a picture of a door I don't know who drew it but it's certainly in bad taste that's subjective man art is subjective um, okay, we got bullets. Oh, I did, I don't know if I fully read that message. I mean, I'll have to double check. I might be, is there an inventory space or something? So we got the room. There's a lot going on. Okay. We got plenty of bullets. It's locked, okay. I will say guys, I never played old time game, like old timey games, right? I was like, I really like just modern game feel and everything. I've never really been someone that plays like vintage games, but at this point I've gotten kind of used to it. And there's definitely a charm to it that you can't really meet. 
you can't really find anywhere else. And again, this is coming from someone that was kind of like a hater. Like, I could not play old games or games that looked bad for a while. It's like, oh, if the graphics are bad, I can't really enjoy it. But I'm an, I'm an older, wiser man now. <laughs> uh, Cheryl might be here. I should sh search for her. Hold on. I think I'm misinterpreting where I am, maybe? Oh, so this leaves, I was going into a courtyard. Okay, that's why. So there's some monsters out here. I thought I just left. Okay, these are new. These are the people that stabbed me. These, these damn inner city schools with their crime and gang members. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Definitely tell Silent Hill is not an inner city. <laughs> is that a city? A golden sun. Um, okay. That's gotta be some element of the puzzle here. The tower door is locked. Aha, got it. Okay, so this is how, this is where the puzzle starts coming into play. All right, now that I have some more context for this, I'm gonna try to get as much context for the puzzle in this area, then I can go back and try to solve it. It's just hard to read the, the clue or the, before like kind of grasping the context and how it's applied, you know? Why is the music still going? I think I killed everyone here. So are these like demon children? Which is like, that's really grim, isn't it? Oh my, the back of my leg, bro, ouch. Okay, that's the, f okay, Jesus. Okay, this is like, I do not like the idea of these like being little demon kids with knives. Let's see our state. So right now we're in this side. This goes back down. There's a clock tower and that leads back to the... Okay. Okay. Midwitch. Oh wow, I actually was almost dead. And these things do some damage. I'm just clicking on all the lockers. I don't think we're gonna get much interaction from that, but we're just trying it out. A friend in need. Okay, so this should lead back to, yeah. So can we open this or is this gonna stay locked? Thank you. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so these are just bathrooms. We're we gonna get jump scared again. By this Silent Hill 2, there was a fucking stall jump scare that I could do without. No. Interesting, because I think there was... Oh, okay, no, yeah, it's just a... Okay. Nothing. Oh, there is a... Knife-wielding demon child in this bathroom. Kick it. Okay. Nothing again. You don't need to use the bathroom? All right, we're good. We've peed our pants long ago. Um, okay, let's go into the teacher's room. Oh. Okay. Very, okay, again. Just, yeah, this is very classic in terms of there's just a bunch of doors you can't get into and that's their way of just saying, we added these rooms, but there's actually one way to go here. So we can go to the second floor. There's storage and, oh, uh, so let's do, let's fully explore this uh, first floor before we go upstairs. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> Oh, God. That is fucking me up. That fucked me up. Okay. Do you, I do? Oh, my God. What the fuck? That's awful. That's so bad. I don't like this at all. Wait, that's like... Actually... That really upset me. What? That was, I think, one of the worst things I've seen in those ga these, these games. I, I, I'm not even, inter I don't want to interact with it because I don't want, it's like, that's like a ghost baby. Oh, <laughs> that like really is fucking, wow. Okay, that, that fucked me up. And you have to like pan the camera. Ugh. Um, I don't want to even touch that thing. I'm not going to. That That's... The implications really bother me with that. Um, just like what that could be or why it's there or whatever. Or what the fuck the noise is making. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Um, oh, okay. We got a lot going on. So let's look, man, there's going to be a few floors here, right? Lab equipment room. Glucose, no reason to take it. We need the energy. Ooh, I'll take chemical. Oh, hold up. There is a chemical, take it, yes, please. There's something in here, but distilled water, no reason to take it. Oh Jesus, what the hell is that? What is with the music? I don't see a monster. Okay, whatever. I don't like that at all too, that the music just starts playing. How are we missing that shot? The three bullets into the kick combo. I think I just see a severed hand here. We're on the part of the Adams family. Yeah, old man's hand. The fish shut tight as if never to let go. Wow. Okay, sure. Good in old palm, future fist, exchange for water. Right? So let's try, maybe we give it some chemicals. Statue of, oh, it's a statue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, um, hold up. I still have an issue navigating sometimes. The label reads concentrated hydrochloric acid found. Yes, here, have some of this. <laughs> okay, we'll melt it. Give me, give me whatever you were holding. Yes, please. Just the melted remains of the statue of a hand. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> I love that they add that at the end. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, also, that's the thing about these games. They've got a sense of humor to them. That's so funny, man. More, more children? wrong menu <laughs> um so now we got library reserve okay okay and we see the music room it's 
So I don't understand why this is... Hold up, I'm not going to leave the room. This thing is going off even when there aren't monsters in the room, which is very concerning to me. Or maybe there is one in here and there's just... Oh, Jesus! Dude, I don't know why, but these babies are the scariest thing. Especially with the noise they make. I do not like that. Oh, there's two of them. Dude, I'm just leaving them. Like, I really do not like this. This, like, really bothers me. Um, The noises specifically, they're like... Honestly, they're probably just a squeak toy. That's probably what they use for the audio, but, like, that does not... It's so bad. Um, that's so bizarre that that's the thing that bothers me the most, I think, out of both games so far. Huh. Is there anything from... I can't read that. Come from something Vulcan. So this is the library reserve. We couldn't get in here, it was locked. But we don't seemingly have anything here that we need. No need to read any of these books. I never learned how to read. No special books here. So we need to find a special book. Maybe we'll come back here at some point. Can I open this now? Okay, interesting. Okay, maybe it was just that one room that just didn't have any, the, the lab equipment room just had the radio go off or the music, as you know, it's just the music going off. No actual radio though. Pig, oink, oink. It's like a little art room. We got some dudes, some portraits of people, men and women. Got a giraffe and an elephant. Very, very classroom. <laughs> so classroom. Okay. Huh. Zoo! Dude, these guys... Hey! Okay, we need to stop this. here. We need to go to the music room. Okay, this needs to stop. I'm gonna die, I think. I should be at red. Yeah. Should honestly maybe try using the iron pipe. There's another one. Um, so, okay, we should just take this door right now. Oh god. Oh Jesus, something's... Oh Jesus. Just a cat. And it can open the door. <laughs> the door. <laughs> it's just a magic door opening cat that got eaten. No running or playing in the locker room. Hey. The locker rooms where. <laughs> okay, I mean, not even. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna finish that statement. Oh man. Okay. Well, something's up. There's a giant dog. Dude, that's so unfair. He changed his aim. Wow. It's a 
an action movie. Fighting off zombies in the corner. <laughs> Kicking them down. <laughs> oh man. It's kind of comedic to an extent. Just like the way he just like lackadaisically just kicks them in the head. <laughs> Little whack. Ooh. It's written in blood. A tale of birds without a voice. First flew the greedy pelican, eager for the reward, white wings flailing. Then came a silent dove, flying beyond the pelican as far as he could. A raven flies in, flying higher than the dove, just to show that he can. Dove, 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 dove. It's a dove, right? <laughs> a swan glides in to find a peaceful spot next to another bird. Finally out comes a crow, coming quickly to a stop, yawning and then napping. Who will show the way? Who will be the key? Who will lead to the silver reward? Okay. I got that. I got that. I've parsed everything in one reading. It all makes sense now. Okay. Anything to do with the piano? No? It won't open. Ah, oh, it doesn't look locked though. So we need to do something with some birds. All right, let me reread this again. Ugh, okay. A tale of birds. So we got pelican, then we got a dove. Then a raven. Swan and then crow. Okay. Okay, let's check out these other class. Oh. It's locked, you say? Well, I was just in that. Damn it. Okay, I gotta circle around. Just a second. Let's circle all the way around. See if there's a room with some birds. We're going up here. Yeah. And then we take a left. Let's run past. Oh, Jesus. No, not the babies. Not the babies. I actually hate that squeak toy. Yeah, let's see if we can go into any of these classrooms. We can. Hey! God damn it, I was trying to get past him, but he still lunged at me. Damn, okay. Well, that's more stabbing. I would love it, thank you. Okay, nearly identical to the other one. A few different images, I guess. Okay. When did this come out? 99? Make of this. It doesn't seem like there's anything in these classrooms. I don't know if I'm missing something. I keep pressing B for the map for some reason. Okay. I did not like that either. Jesus fucking Christ. Dude, this is really good. <laughs> like, what? They, they really nail just random s sounds and visuals just being like the worst things ever. You don't need jump scares. You don't need jump scares. You need... A sense of atmosphere and just like unease. Like what the hell? Why? 
Oh man. Okay. Um. Hmm. So maybe if they go up a floor. Let's run past the knife wielding children. Whoop! Oh, he bad. Bad form. Okay. Does every staircase lead that way? Because what if... Oh, see, that one only goes down. Interesting. So I've missed something. Let's head down and see if there's something we can do on the first floor again. I don't know what to do with these birds, because I don't think there was any puzzle. There was a piano we couldn't open. Hold on, let me check my inventory. Maybe there's... Dude, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is annoying for me as well. A picture of a clock tower is engraved on the surface. Yeah, okay, so we know that. What we should do is let's go back, read that clue that mentioned the musical, because I've definitely missed something. And we'll definitely... Uh, cause I think, no, no, I actually, we need to get out of this school. Oh, okay. <laughs> Knife wielding child jump scare. Ah, uh, dude, the lunging is hard to avoid actually. Oh, this guy's going to get me. I should have just dealt with them, man. I'm trying to run past them, but these guys actually, like, track pretty well. I should be at red again. Yeah, I'm actually going through these way too quick. Um, dude, not okay, I'm actually completely flustered with the menus right now for some reason. Um, okay, so we haven't actually gone in these rooms, so that might be why. So let's unlock this. Perfect. Let's go in here. This is what we needed to do. Okay, another identical classroom. Or near identical. No! Oh! Dude, I really hate these things. Like, they're actually the worst. They don't chase you either, they just fall on the floor. It's so messed up. I hate it. I actually am like, they, they, my, my heart rate goes up when I hear the squeak. I don't care about any of the other monsters. But these ones like really are not pleasant. Um, hmm. Okay, let me go back and cut through the room again then, because it's clear that I have missed something. So let me put the golden medallion in the clock tower as well. A golden sun. Very cool. All right, let's read those hints again. Is that reception? So we did this bit. Yeah, so we got that. Sorry I'm yawning so much, guys. I even have some coffee, but... Been a lot, I've been all over the place last week, so... Darkness that brings the choking heat. Flames render the silence, awakening the hungry beast. Open time's door to beckon prey. Also, we don't know what ate the cat. 
Um, a place with songs and sound, the silver guidepost is untapped in lost tongues, awakening at the ordained order. So that I don't get either, because I don't have a tongue. <laughs> and there's something with birds, but I don't see like a bird room. I'm gonna have to take a... Okay, this is the creepy room. Okay, let's try going up again. Let's go back to the music room and play around with it. Maybe I, maybe I misclicked somewhere. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold up. I think we can actually... There's a basement component. Let me just double check. I think I just saw a staircase that leads down. Yeah, okay. Let's go into the school basement. That's probably what we need to do. Yeah, boiler room. That's the that's the darkness and the heat and whatever. Nothing inside. Okay, that's creepy as well. Jesus, that's a cursed door. For some reason that bothers me. Scary door. There's a switch. Do you want to press the switch? Not right now. Let me look around. Okay, there's not much to... The valve is tightly shut. Don't know what it better leave it alone. It's a it's a video game here. You gotta just start turning valves, bro. That's how that's how it works. Okay, fine. Fine. I'll just Okay. We've A lot of signs here. Hmm. Let me reread that note about the boiler room. <laughs> Flames render the silence, awakening the hungry beast. So I feel like this is something that happens after we open. So let's let's head back again. Let's go back to the music room. I think I missed something there. Oh, it's open now. What? Okay, there's some blood on some of the keys. Does this mean anything? I don't know. I don't know if these are supposed to be notes. Because there's no P, right? So... Because do Dove could be D. I mean, they're, okay, these can't be notes. For the life of me, I really can't figure out what I'm this is supposed to mean. I have to take the hat off is restricting blood flow, guys. You can actually see a bit of a red mark. I got this hat from my dad. And it's a nice hat. It's like from some brewery or something, but dude, it's too tight. It's too tight. So we got this weird mark on our forehead now. But uh I, I don't get it guys. Like I don't know because it's clearly not notes. 
Um, I think it's definitely supposed to be a hint towards this. I'm just like... I I will say, I think I did look up the solution to one of the... Well, I, I think, I know. I did look up one of the solutions to a puzzle in SH2 in the uh, DLC for Maria. The weird, um, the weird tile puzzle. I might have to look this one up because I'm really lost. The only thing I can think of, it says without a voice. So it's like, maybe it's the quiet, because there's two notes, right? Well, there's, there's, a, there's two types of these keys, rather. Um, because some play the note, because this, I think this is C, C sharp, D, D sharp, right? Or this is uh, D flat, right? But we're not using those notes. So, let me count. One, two, three, four, five. So there's five silent notes, which I think Pelican, Dove, three, four. So there's five of these. So that's gotta be it. But I just don't understand what I'm supposed to, how the fucking birds play into it. Greedy Pelican, eager for the reward, white wings flailing. Then came a silent dove flying beyond the pelican as far as he could. A raven flies in, flying higher than the dove, just to show that he can. <laughs> a swan, I, I, mean, I might be too stupid for this. A swan glides in to find a peaceful spot next to another bird. Finally, out comes a crow coming quickly to a stop. Who will be the key? I don't get this at all. I'm sorry. Um, so the first is the pelican. Then a silent dove. Which ones are the... It's like a positioning thing, maybe? Hold on, I need to mark this shit down now. This is gonna be a little... It's gonna take a second, because I'm actually gonna draw this shit out. Um, just so I can visualize it uh, when I read the puzzle, because the puzzle's a bit... So we got... So these two. All right, so it's this, this, and then these three. I don't know if the blood is supposed to mean anything here. So let me reread it. So it says, First was the pelican. So that's the first note, I guess, the first dull note. Flying beyond, as far as he could. So maybe it goes from that first silent note to the furthest silent note. Okay, okay. So first and last. Oh, but then already, okay, so maybe second last, right? So, so, okay, so the raven's gotta be, so the raven is the last one. So raven's the last one. So the first is the pelican, then the dove is the second to last one, then the raven's the last one. And then a swan glides in to find a peaceful spot next to another bird. 
which I don't know what that then the crow quickly to a stop so so first is okay okay so how it's gonna okay so <laughs> so first second to last last middle then second that's what it's gonna go so first four, it's one four five three two that's what we're gonna do I actually I think I got it so so one that's the pelican then this is the last one so we don't want we want this one then we want this one then we want this one then we want this one no <laughs> fuck <laughs> oh, i thought i had it um shit let me switch up the the crow and the swan how about that so no <sighs> fuck it I'm, I'm looking this up sorry 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 i'm looking it up i, I don't want to spend more time on this um a silent hill piano puzzle i need to figure out the clue is in a poem the idea behind this puzzle is to hit the silent notes on the piano in the right order. He, okay. Five out of 12 keys are muted. All of the birds are either black or... Oh, okay, hold up. Okay, that was, a, that was a big clue. All of the birds are either black or white. Okay, I didn't even think about that. Um, Okay, that's huge. Okay, I like this puzzle, actually. This is actually a hard puzzle, and I don't dislike a puzzle that makes me have to look for a clue, okay? That's... I like this. So the pelican is white, right? So the first... First white key. Then we have a dove, which is the fourth white key. Or the, it was the, yeah, okay, well, that's another white. Okay, now I'm getting a bit confused, but we'll figure this out. Flying higher than the dove, but the raven is black. So, black, then a swan, white, and then the, what was a crow, right? So then black. Okay, so give me a second. Let me figure this out then. So, so it's actually, you know what? I think we were actually kind of close. Let me see this. So this is the pelican. This is the dove. This is the raven. This is the swan. This is the crow. Okay, great puzzle. A little bit hard, I think. Maybe a bit too hard. I think maybe if they... If they, if they highlighted the color of the bird for every single bird, just so like they repeated it a few times, then I think that would have been enough of a hint for me to parse that. I will say they do give the hint of, they, they, they highlight the white wings, but I still think that's a pretty hard puzzle. I feel like if I was a kid, especially, I would not even piece together the silent notes. Good puzzle though. I like that. I don't know how you guys found. Did you guys figure it out just like normally? Maybe I'm stupid and this is actually not a hard puzzle, but to me this one this is a really good puzzle. Like pretty challenging, but not like and again I had to look up a clue, but it wasn't to the point where I was like, that's stupid or like that's needlessly difficult. Good little puzzle, I like that. Um alright, so let's go into the courtyard now. No, no, that's the basement. My bad. Okay, guys, this is a good 
so far, I am liking this game. I Again, I'm always... I think I have a really bad bias that I think a lot of old games are going to be bad. But literally every game I've played has been really good so far. I mean, obviously... I'm playing the classics, right? I'm sure if you we pick some random bullshit game from 1999, I could easily say this is trash. But like, I'm playing like the best games of that era, but this is really good. Um, a silver moon, here, enjoy. I got one right here. So now we gotta go to the boiler room, I think. Not like that. Dude, the music's changing. Oh. No, not the kids with knives. Get away from me. Let's go to the boiler room. We're gonna have to play every Silent Hill game, I think. I just know there's like a lot of like... Again, I, I, I'm not too familiar with the, the series. You obviously hear the name because it's so prevalent, but I know there's a lot of like controversy, I guess, around like some of the games. Like some people say, oh, this game's really good. And then others like, eh, it's not that great, whatever. I think it's the only universal opinion is two is amazing from my understanding. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong there. I'm not too, again, into the, the culture. I will say, I have literally watched like, <laughs> I'm not even joking, like 10 to maybe 15 people play through Silent Hill 2 since I finished the game. Like obviously I don't watch the entire playthrough. Uh, I'm, I'm on that Zoomer Gen Alpha grind set of, I watch like 10 minutes of like a 10 hour <laughs> playthrough really. <laughs> Just like the good, the good parts, the the highlight parts of the cutscenes and stuff. So, such, like, I'm literally obsessed with the game. It's, I still think about it. Um, this is not, no, no, this is the right spot. I, I think I just have to kill these guys. I can't pass them. Um, I've been so obsessed with the game. So I definitely understand why people like have just made it part of their personality over like 15 years or whenever they played the game because it is really, really incredible. But, um, and so I want to play the remake so I can watch people because a lot of people have been just playing the remake and that pops up on my feed. Obviously I don't watch it because I don't want to see the remake. Okay, dude, we're back into just these weird long holes that we have to go down. Or is this a ladder? Okay, still long as deep hole. Jesus. Okay, this is creepy. We have that air raid siren, which is a common thing that I keep hearing a lot. Is that, are those health drinks? No, okay, we can't pick them up. Oh, we're going up. Jesus. They need to make a new one. I think it's like homecoming or something. I don't know. I don't know where you are. Been here before? Huh. Oh, okay, Jesus Christ. Hmm. I don't remember <laughs> this being here before. Yeah, I don't either. <laughs> okay. Okay, I don't like the music. Oh, Jesus. Okay, oh God, get off my legs. Okay, I, the music scared me. I, I need to go back and check out what's... Oh, shit. I need to heal before I get stabbed again. I'm gonna die here. Yep, I messed that up. Ah, uh, dude, I'm... That's a bit annoying. Oh, he's still not down. Jesus. Um. Okay, the music scared me away from that room. I, I thought there was gonna be some 
dog chasing me. Because they mentioned a beast awakening. And then something ate the cat. Also, what was that cutscene about? They just wanted to introduce... Okay, there's nothing in here. It's just very scary. And we have a map of this area. Or no. We do. It's the same, but it's demonic now. We've 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 passed through. Okay, we're just entering every door now. Oh no! And there's something hanging from the walls. These like fucking earwigs? From hell? Okay, I don't like this at all, guys. Uh... Okay... A headless doll is stuck to the wall. Whatever, man. Um, I don't like this at all, dude. Okay. Um, sure. So, the classic of just, we're now in hell. Is this gonna be locked too? Yeah, okay, I gotta go through here. I need to... Okay, luckily these things we can run past. They're not too bad. Sure. Uh... Okay. What the hell, bro? Sure. Oh, these are chains. I thought it was like some goop or something. These classrooms look nice, dude. This is what happens when you defund the... the education in the country. Oh god. I'm running the wrong way. Just open this up. Huh. Okay. Defund the education system. Put kids in fenced up demon hallways. Give them knives. Leave them to the bugs. I like this. Rectangular card with a picture of a key found on a desk in the classroom. Fluorescent pink rubber ball used by children. Or dogs. Um, let's go in the infirmary. Okay. I'm gonna need that. Ooh. A health drink for me? Yes, please. Oh, Jesus. And there's people. Oh, God. I love that for us. It's like in the um, reception. It's like that photo. Or not the for the portrait. The creep. Keep. The creepy portrait. <laughs> oh, yeah. They really have a visual genius to this kind of environment and world design. It's also very consistent. I mean, I guess we'll see how it is in the other games, but very industrial. They love 
Again, like, I don't know the... I know there is one person that's credited for, like, the monster design. Yeah, this is it. But I don't know about the, um... I don't know... I'm not too familiar with the, uh, environmental design if it's the same person. Like, that does the monster and the environments. But they love... They love fences. They love, like, chains. They love, like, this industrial, like, grid, like motif i guess very disturbing and then yeah for like the creatures and enemies and stuff they love like bodies that are like chained up or bound put in some kind of like flesh like cloth or something very again very consistent and they cubes and try like geometric shapes too right like with pyramid head but even like the doors and like the red rectangles in two but like in this game you can even see it here like very off-putting just like look at that like that's <laughs> like even without the blood even if this was like painted perfect like you know this is just like a suburban home just the shapes are very off-putting um what is this a door if it is there's no key or even a knob I wonder if it's for the card. In you go. And it opens. Okay, hold up. Did I explore everything? Oh, this just takes me. Okay, perfect. So I actually... Wait, that's great. Okay, so this is where we had to go. And you guys did say the game was fairly linear, so I shouldn't be too worried about, like... Okay, why was that such a long loading screen? I thought we were gonna go into a cutscene. Jesus Christ. Yeah, like, grates and fences and stuff is very common. And just, again, I'm this is my interpretation of two hours of this game and Silent Hill 2. I need to play 3 and 4. I just see how I do not to see like the consistency in the design but we definitely need to play the others shotgun shells okay well I'd like a shotgun my good man So what do I do? Huh. Okay, I'm blocked in. It has seemingly thrown me into a different floor. Let's go back in. That's maybe why the loading took so long is because it actually loads up a different floor. If you go in this room, maybe? Let's see. Cause if I go out, does that take me to the first floor? It does. It does. Interesting. That's why the loading is so bizarre. Okay. I was like, man, this loading screen is taking forever. It's very clever. Um, there's something in here. A shotgun. And a person. Yeah, the same... I think it's like the same thing we saw... In the... Beginning of episode one. A hanging body. Why would somebody... Don't yell at me. Don't grab me. Okay, we're good. And even the imagery on the walls here like it's faint but it's like almost like a horned being or something maybe that's me over interpreting it to be honest but um let's not use the shotgun until we have to because we don't have a lot of shotgun shells oh jesus i'm gonna die i'm getting swarmed here give me a second um Why 
What the hell, man? Okay, that was very bad. I wasted a lot of ammo and I took a lot of damage. Um. Love some ammo, thank you. Bunch of can't can't use the phone. Yeah, I don't think so. We agreed on that. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, time to answer. Oh, Jesus Christ. Daddy, where are you? Cheryl! That was Cheryl's voice. I know it. Where is she? Cheryl? Okay. Great. Great. Um, hmm. We just go up. Oh, what the hell was that? Just something in there. <sighs> we got a rubber ball too. I gotta keep that in mind. It might be, it's probably a puzzle piece. stuff in this area as well um so just step by step here oh shit Oh shit, okay. We're going around, long way. Did I enter this door? I don't think I did. Dude, ah, these fucking lunges, man. I guess. So I'm actually like not. I'm kind of focused on the game right now, so I'm talking a little bit quiet, a little bit slow. Sorry. Okay, music's getting intense too. <laughs> Shit, not the bugs. Not the children. Okay, nice. That was actually a pro juke. I wanna see what Oh, there's a person hanging. Okay. Well I'd love to get a better look at that, but I don't wanna waste ammo and time there. Okay, we gotta get a cat out of here, but this time it's gonna be a demon cat. Dude, what the hell, man? What happens if I do this, actually? 
No, okay, I can't. <laughs> I was like, maybe. Okay, I'm gonna get jump scared by something. Yeah, okay. That was like the music just turned off. Like all the sound went off. Okay. Ooh. Okay, thanks, man. A body is slumped over. Um, where are we? <laughs> my voice is literally cracking. Oh my god. No, no, okay. Hopefully that doesn't kill me. I might be pretty injured. Okay, please, sir, get off my leg. That's enough. That's enough. How much ammo do we have? Oh, honestly, we still have a lot. Okay, that's good. I should be a little, I should be more comfortable. Okay, let's take a better look at this. Wow. Lovely. Oh, nice little sight. Um, okay, I want to check out the music room before we leave. If it's not locked. Okay, it is, it's locked. And then I just have to go... Wait, where do you guys come from? Oh, god damn it. There's three of them in here. I'm just sorry, I'm trying to fucking... There we go. Oh man. Alright, um, let's go in here. Get me out of this hellscape. <laughs> Who's knocking? Alright, let's open up. At least there's no more babies. I ain't complaining about that. Hearing this, the hunter armed with bow and arrow said, I will kill the lizard. But upon meeting his opponent, he held back, taunting, who's afraid of a reptile? At this, the furious lizard hissed, I'll swallow you up in a single bite. Then the huge creature attacked, jaws opened wide. This is what the man wanted. Calmly drawing his bow, he shot into the lizard's gaping mouth. Effortless, effortless, effortlessly, <laughs> the arrow flew piercing the defenseless maw and the lizard fell down dead. This is from an old fairy tale. I remember reading it as a kid. Okay, open up and shoot it in the mouth. The lizard I'm imagining is a dragon. In a vile worm. Um... I like that's supposed to be a hint or something. We see a dragon. We know what's going on. Okay, hold up. I miss. Maybe I can go in this way. Um, I guess I just go up.
Wow. It's the same like square, like like the rectangle with the squares inside and this thing. Okay, drainage valve, nothing unusual. Nothing special. Okay, well, why don't we just throw a ball in there? Why not? <laughs> Put the round thing in the round hole. So now we can use this drainage valve or something? Oh, we don't want to. I'm confused now. Is something supposed to happen here? Oh, there's another one. Ah, I see. We're gonna flood it now. Because it's not gonna drain properly. And then we can get the key. I'm surprised it's just water. I thought it was gonna be blood. It went down the drain. Okay. We gotta find that key. <laughs> what a nice little visual there. Where the hell did it go? Maybe in the bathroom? Oh, we got a long loading screen. Something's gonna happen. Let me heal. Wow, I'm actually... Okay, this is bad. There it is. Dude, I was looking in the bathroom, man. Okay, here we go. We found it. And that should take us... I think it's in the second floor. There's some locked doors. I thought this was gonna open that door. Oh, it did, okay. Oh boy. Lovely. Okay, we need this, thank God. And this. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, we go down, I guess. Okay, this is unlocked, I guess. That's nice. Um, can we actually, since we're here, is this the first floor? We should save while we can. We got this shortcut now. Okay, um, <laughs> let's keep going. <laughs> so this goes up or down. We're going down, I think. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
Oh, yeah. So one was... Okay, so this is a storage room. Okay, well, we're getting guns. We're getting a lot of stuff here. An ampule? Sure. Okay, it's. I think it's shotgun time, ladies and gentlemen. I think we're gonna go into the boiler room. Um, let's heal up, just in case. Effect lasts for a while. Huh, so like it reduces damage taken too, maybe? Let's equip this. We got a lot of bullets, so. Or shells. All right, all right, let's get this, let's do this. In we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Turn the valve, I guess? Oh shit. I did not read that. Oh, okay, it's like a security. Okay. We're gonna be here for a while. Can we just shimmy on through here? No? All right. Oh, okay, we got it. I wasn't even paying attention. I was just spamming the turns and it finally worked. Great job, me. Oh shit, we're going down. Going down. Oh. Oh. Yes. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Okay, we got a burning body. We got a giant dog in the back. Whatever that thing is. I think we're shooting the dog. It's a big, scary demon dog. It's just... Oh, Jesus Christ. What is this thing? If we just circle around it, maybe it just will be happy. Honestly, I like this strat. Look at this thing. Oh, shit. Is this the thing that ate the dog? Or the cat, rather? Okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, at least it's slow. Oh, you know what? I think we need it to open its mouth. Oh, shit. It's fast. Easy. Easy. We're so good. I think we won. <laughs> okay. Let's <laughs> slow-mo air raid again. What is happening? Oh. Hello. Milady. This weird schoolgirl person is terrifying. Oh, okay. We've teleported to another room. Oh, okay. She's gone. <laughs> We're back in the boiler room? Okay. Huh? Huh? What was that? Yeah, I don't know, bro. You tell me. Who in the hell was that? Oh, he doesn't even know. I thought it might be someone we know. Where am I? This is a boiler room? What is going on here? Well, okay, maybe he's just forgotten, like, who that was, but he should know who that is. Maybe? There's a K Gordon key. Why, why not? Okay, uh, it's time for class. Bell's going off. Okay, we're back here. Ooh. Oh, I can't even interact with this, and this door has changed, I think. Maybe it hasn't. I hear a... A church bell, maybe? Who is ringing the bell? Could be a machine. Oh, we're leaving. We're going to the church. Okay, cool. 
Well, that was strange. Why don't we save here? We're the wrong way. Where's the infirmary? Oh, it's right here. Alright, let's save here. I don't know what's going on. I can't even begin to kind of like parse the story yet. I still feel like we need a bit more. I don't know who that little girl is supposed to be. We're looking for a daughter though. I know that much. Um, okay, that was a great segment. I really like that bit. Um, visually and like kind of tension wise, it was great. So I've been really enjoying the game so far. Let me know if I missed anything or there's anything else I need to do. Um, other than that, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I'll see you again soon.